Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and welcome to episode 9 of Android Tips on CurseForward TV. And this time around we've got 20 top apps that require root access for rooted phones and tablets. So, hope you guys like the list and let's get started. The first app on the list is the LMT Launcher. Though it says Launcher, it's more of a, an add-on over an existing launcher. What it does is it provides you with Pi controls. So, these are Pi controls. These are basically shortcuts that you can customize. You can either have a single uh, single Pi or you can have, an, have a, sec a second extra layer. So this is how I've, I've customized it. You can also, uh, you can also have your, uh, what do you say, the clock displayed, your battery life, the speed at which the uh, processor is clocked and more information there. So this is called the LMT Launcher. Uh, Again, don't let the name confuse you. It can run on top of any launcher. So no matter if you use Nova or uh, uh, Go Launcher X, you can still have Pi controls. So there you see, this is Go Launcher X, and Pi controls still work. So let's take a closer look at Pi controls. So apart from this, uh, the Pi controls, I mean uh, the LMT launcher also gives you gesture control support. So say for example, this opens up my Open Apps. Let me just uh, show you a little bit. Okay, going inside. So once you get this, uh, the first thing you need to do is select the touch service mode. You've got three. Uh, you've got three features with this app. You've got gestures, ISAS, and Pi. ISAS is uh, si single finger gestures. All right. So I'm enabling all three, and then you select set ge gesture input. So over here, you've got a preset list. So uh, if your device isn't uh, covered, and I mean covered, uh, isn't part of any of these lists, you can just choose a different one. Uh, just keep trying different ones, and one of them should work. So I'm using a uh, an international variant of the Galaxy S3 right now, and that's not on the list. So I've selected uh, number two, HTC Sensation um, GS2 Note Note 2, and it actually works for me. Uh, whereas the uh, Sprint Galaxy S3 setting doesn't work, so it's just a hit and a miss over here. If you don't have your exact device isn't listed, you can just go ahead cho uh, choose different ones, and one of those will work. So, just going down, you you have a lot of options here. Uh, you can select the radius of the pie, the color of the pie. So right now we have it on blue. Let's change it to something different. So there you see it. Now it's red. Similarly, the status colors can also be changed. You can change the font, uh, the inner and outer radius. So the inner radius, say for example, I make it 30. And you see uh, the place by my thumb is become smaller. So now I'll change it to 70. And there you see it. It's a little big enough. Similarly, with the outer radius, it's on 80, let's make it 60 now. There you see. So, let me get it back to 80. Again, you've got a lot more options over here. Enough. Sliding over. These are, the uh, these are the gestures. So, swiping right, you can use two fingers. Uh, from anywhere in the anywhere on the OS anywhere no matter what app you're running so This is swipe right double so swiping from left to right So you can have a trigger a preset uh, preset stuff uh, Or you can have it open up any app you want So let's just have it open up mm, Chrome All right, so swiping from left to right is going to open up Chrome Let's test it out. There you go. So no matter what you're doing for that, uh, for that matter. So let me just. Uh, so say for example, let me open up the Play Store. So right now from the Play Store, double swipe, and there we go. Uh, Chrome loads up again. So going back into LMT. So these are the gestures, and you can also have uh, other gestures like question marks and square double timer doubles and so on. ISAS are uh, invisible swipe areas. So what this is, is more of a single finger gesture. So let me just set something. 
So say for example, let's select invisible swipe area right center and I'm gonna have a trigger the menu key. All right, so. All right, there's nothing for menu here, okay. There you see the menu, uh, menu key is triggered. And this happens uh, from anywhere. So say for example, we are in Dropbox. Okay, I've not set it up yet. Okay, wait. Say for example, all right. We are in the browser. There you go, the menu. So now going back to LMT. And again, you've got pie controls. You've got, you can select the items that you see, like uh, after the first set of items and the second, uh, second layer, you can configure it here. And apart from these 10 shortcuts, you can even configure each and every icon for a long press. So say for example, the first item on level one is the home button. Okay, now I'm gonna change its long press to say search. All right, so going here is gonna uh, go to the home screen. Now pressing and holding it, it's gonna launch search or Google Now in this case. Similarly, you can also set shortcuts for toggles. So that's Bluetooth turning off. That's Wi-Fi turning on. Get to get connected. Yeah, we're up. And again, turning on Bluetooth. So, so guys, it's worth noting that the LMT launcher is not available off the Play Store. So uh, I've given links to all the ads in the description of this video. So you can go ahead, uh, download the APK file from XDA Developers Forums, install it and uh, use it if you if you like it. So moving on. The next app on the list is ROM Manager. So if you've rooted your phone and you have a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod recovery on your phone, uh, you'll, you'll often have to you know go back into recovery to flash uh, custom ROMs or any other zip, zip files and so on. So the ROM Manager basically saves you the trouble of booting back into recovery. It also makes life a lot more simple with uh, the options of you know downloading ROM direct, ROMs directly if you have the premium version, uh, checking for ROM updates, fixing permissions and stuff right from your uh, you, the graphical user interface that is right from your la uh, launcher. No matter if you use Clockwork Mod or TWRP, uh, ROM Manager now supports both. So apart from that, you can also back up and restore your current ROM right from ROM Manager. So that's ROM Manager for you. Next up, we've got ES File Explorer. Well, ES File Explorer doesn't need root access to work. It does give you extended functionality uh, when you have root access. So going into settings, you've got root settings over here. If going into it, you can use it as a root explorer. Grant super user permissions. Yes, you can go up to root and you can mount your file system. Uh, have no if you have no idea what this means uh, There are a lot of modifications say for example for the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2 You've got some audio modifications uh, For a lot of other phones you've got some uh, what do you say swapping your internal memory and your external memories so for these kind of mods you will have to go to your uh, root uh, and uh, Change some settings in the data folder or whatever for this you need to have a root browser it's one of the best file managers that can also double as a root browser. And apart from being a root explorer, it can also detect uh, stuff over LAN, Bluetooth. Uh, say, for example, you can select you can any uh, uh, you can select your PC from here. Uh, what do you say? Just scan. You can select any PC, uh, any computer is connected on the same network, and you can uh, browse shell for chat folders from that computer. You can even stream uh, videos from the computer. If, if you have something shared and these extra features are what in my honest opinion make it stand out uh, apart from the other root browsers out there and that is what makes ES File Explorer a must-have app for rooted phones and tablets. So guys the next app on the list is Data Sync. So say for example you're playing a game on your phone uh, you've, you're, you're, you've done like 20-30 levels you're out of charge or for some reason you want to use another Android device in your house another Android device that you own uh, well, you'll have to start, start all over again, but not anymore. If you have root access on your phone, uh, DataSync is an app that lets you transfer your, uh, transfer your game or transfer just your data over to another device. So say for example, right now uh, I've got Coloroid on this phone. 
I don't have it on my Galaxy Note 2, uh, but I have data sync on my data Galaxy Note 2. So what I can do here is tap on Coloroid and go back and I have it queued over here. So uh, I just need to hit this button and uh, any other device on the same network that's running data sync will be detected. So I hit N7100 and I'm just going to upload uh, Coloroid from my Galaxy S3 to my Galaxy Note 2. So I'm going to hit upload. So I have the option of sending the APK file with or without the data. So I'm going to send it with the data. All right, it's done. So now if on my Galaxy Note 2, just go in and there's Coloroid. So opening it up and it works. So that's data sync for you guys. Any app that you have, uh, along with the data, uh, you can transfer it from one uh, rooted device to another. That's data sync. So guys, the next app on the list is Mobile Loading Pro. So again, this is pretty exclusive to Samsung Galaxy devices. What this app does is it lets you flash any stock update that you get. Generally, once you root a phone, you either lose the ability to update your phone to the latest firmware, or every time you update to the latest firmware, you're going to lose the root access. So what Mobile Odin Pro does is you can just download um, your stock firmware from the net from sammobile.com and just transfer it to your internal or external memories, select it from here and flash it, enabling ever root, injecting super user. And uh, your, your phone is going to be updated to the latest firmware while retaining root access. So this is a definite plus. Again, uh, more details on this. I've got a whole video on how to exactly get this done. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy device, uh, the link is there in the description. So you can just go ahead, check it out if you want to. So Mobile Loading Pro must have app for some rooted Samsung Galaxy devices. So that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. We'll continue with the next part of this list on the next episode of Android Tips on Cus Power TV. The link to the next episode is annotated and onto this video and it's also there in the description. So before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Every time you hit the like or subscribe button, it increases the odds of the video being recommended by YouTube. So go ahead, help me out. Hit the like and subscribe button. So that's pretty much it for now. Hope you guys liked the video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till then, it's Ash here from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.